All right, guys, Kane from Garage 11 again. Now, quick one today. We're just going to have a look at these 86 YZ250 triple clamps. We're going to we're doing a full restoration on the bike. Um, as you saw, we've pulled it all apart. Marshall pulled that all down. Didn't find anything too un, uh, crazy with that one. Um, frame's going to get sandblasted now, and then it will go to be powder coated. So while that's away getting done, we're going to pull these apart. These look like they're in pretty good shape. We're gonna push the stem out of them, new bearings, sandblast them, and then Cerakote them black, nice gloss black, so it should look OEM, um, and then some freshly zinc plated bolts. So stick around guys, I'll show you what we're gonna do here. We're not gonna go into too much detail, you know what sandblasting's like, all that sort of stuff. We'll just show you a few key aspects, just some cool little um, bits and pieces for this one. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have sandblasted the top and bottom triple clamp for the 86YZ250. Um, we didn't bother filming the sandblasting portion of it. Most of you will know what sandblasting is. It's pretty mundane, pretty hard to see. Um, if you do want a sandblasting video, we can put something together for you. Just let us know in the comments. Um, however, so what we've got now, we've sandblasted them, got all the muck and the grime and all the old paint and everything off them. We've got them soaking in acetone at the moment. You generally don't have to soak them. You can just sort of, we have a little paintbrush sometimes or a really clean rag, dip them in, wipe it over, just mainly to get all the oils and everything out of it. Then you'll blow them down with the air gun just to get rid of all the last bits of grit and dust and grime. Um, and then that way they're nice and clean. We can hang them up in our little um, dirty area where we do a lot of our spray painting. Um, and we'll be able to, we're gonna use a Cerakote gloss black for these because the manufacturer, a lot of black on these bikes, triple clamps, hubs, engine, brakes, master cylinders, a lot of stuff is black on these bikes. So we're gonna be going through a lot of that Cerakote gloss black, really good product. So what we'll do now is we'll pull these out. You can have a look, clean them, not really much to see. Like I said, hang them and then we'll spray them. Alright guys, here we are, we've got the 86YZ250 triple clamps, we've Cerakoted them, we actually Cerakoted both of them, um, we should have done a little bit more research, but on the 86YZ250, the lower clamp was actually silver, and the upper clamp was black, we assumed that they were both black, but never assume anything, always do your research, look through um, any archival photos you might have, any uh, online references you can get, um, CMS parts supplier uh, over in Europe, they, some, they have a lot of good photos of uh, brand new original parts, which can give you good references for a lot of this sort of stuff. Anyway, we got caught out, our fault. So we sandblasted it and hydroblasted the clamp back to what color it should be. Um, so we're ready to push the bearings on and ready to reassemble these triple clamps. So what we have here is this particular tool 
Um, it has little machined cups that go on the end of it. Now, if you don't have a press, it does have an area there that you can hit it with a hammer. However, if you do have a press, that is always the desired way of doing it. It's a lot more controlled uh, and a lot nicer and you can sort of see and feel as it's going down. Whereas with a hammer, if you're wildly taking blows at the top of this, um, it can sometimes, things can get damaged. It's a lot more uncontrolled. You can slip, all sorts of stuff. But however, if you don't have a press, just take a little bit more care, have a look, be calculated when you're doing it. So what we're gonna do, we've got our All Balls steering head stem bearing kit from White's Power Sport. They're really good and help us out a lot with a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit this kit to these particular parts. So always check and make sure which bearing is the upper bearing or which bearing is the lower bearing. Sometimes they are different, a lot of the times they are different. So what we do with these particular kits on the, the bottom ones, as you saw, we leave the bearing on when we remove it and we press the stem out, which frees the bearing up. Otherwise, you can, people do use chisels and all sorts of stuff to get them off. It's probably not the best practice because you can see that's been done to this thing over the years at some point and it does damage the head stem. So it's always, like I said, the more controlled you can be, the better results you will get. So what we're gonna do is we're virtually gonna do the reverse of what we did to remove the head stem bearing. We're gonna take the lower clamp, we're gonna feed the stem in through the bottom, like so, we'll put a little bit of assembly grease on it when we actually go and do it. Then what we can do is we take the lower, lower seal, don't forget this, I've done it that many times and had to press in and press out and all sorts of stuff when I've been rushing things. Put that on first, then your bearing, a little bit of grease on there to make it nice, it'll go through. And what we'll do is we take our tool with our machine cup. What I can do is I'll figure out what, or find out what brand of tool this is and I'll put a link to it in the description. That way you can know where to get it from and who does it. I can't remember off the top of my head where we got this one from. We did have a plastic one. And I know that sounds crazy, but it was a, an, a, a, a seedle bottom machine sections. You can all sort of imagine what happened to that one. Anyway, so you take this machined cup, slide it over, and as you can see, what it'll do is it'll actually sit really nicely on the hardened inner race and avoids any damage to the cage and the rollers, which is what you don't want. So that'll sit in there and it sits nice and snug around the stem. Then it has a machined inner section that this general tube will slide over and sit into nicely. So what we'll do is we'll put this whole unit in the vise and squish it all together as one. That'll A, seat the stem properly and it'll B, seat the bearing properly without the use of hammers or any other sorts of um, violent, for lack of a better word, processes and getting it in. So let's head over to the vise, we'll put it in, we'll set it all up, we'll squish it all together and that is gonna be probably the end result of our triple clamps. We'll wait for the frame to come back from Steve's once he's finished straightening it and repairing it, we'll be able to get it to MTO, get them to powder coat it, assemble everything together, and then we're gonna be on to some more exciting stuff with this. So let's head over to the press and we'll go from there. All right guys, there we have it. 1986 YZ250 triple clamps, all ready to go. We're gonna just zinc plate the top nuts and fasten the equipment for it. Um, so that'll be something little we can do, but that's not that crazy of a priority at the moment. Um, one thing I did want to say is when we're doing a lot of our nuts and bolts and our zinc plating, a lot of the generic stuff you can use um, a lot of bolts out of the, the bolt kits, things like that, you'll probably find that a lot of those will be suitable and almost exactly the same as what you're trying to do. Like I said, if you're going for OEM, always check what OEM was, because it may be different. Um, like I know on this particular motorcycle, all the engine bolts, they're not just silver generic 
M6 bolts, they're olive drab cap heads that Yamaha would have used. So you, it wouldn't look right for us to just stick zinc, blue zinc, um, traditional bolts in it. So it's little things like that. But what we do is we go through, we just find bolts that are suitable um, and of the right nature for that particular setup. So what we've got here, it's all back together. We've managed to press the bearing in, the stem's in, good to go. So thanks for watching guys. If you've got any questions, hit us up in the comments, <coughs> excuse me. Let us know if you want to see anything, if there's anything of interest that you, you want to know about, anything that we do that you're curious about. Please feel free either send us a message on Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube. However you want to do it, send us an email. Um, all of our details are below. But thanks again, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it around, and hopefully we can keep bringing you some really some cool content for you guys to see. All right, guys. Came from Garage 11. Once again, thank you very much. See you later.